In the last episode of Sailing Tejo, a fellow sailor named Captain Keith helped us out with a hole in our boat. That incident really made us debate whether or not we wanted to keep pushing or to turn back and head to Florida. As fate would have it, Captain Keith had a mate that needed a ride to New Providence Island to catch an emergency flight back home. We really wanted to help him out since he basically saved our boat, so we decided to go for it and make the crossing from the Barry Islands to New Providence Island. So this is actually going to be like the best weather crossing to uh, New Providence that we have for probably the next two weeks. Uh, we've got like a half foot, maybe a foot of uh, waves on uh, the tongue of the ocean here, or whatever this part of the water is called. Um, and we've already seen how bad this place can get, so this is actually really nice. Anyways, we gotta find this guy and pick him up and get over there. And uh, hopefully the blanking plug works and we don't have a hole in our boat anymore. All right, so this is Kimberly. She's our first hitchhiker. You wanna talk about how we connected? Uh, my captain is Keith, and he helped you with a hole in your boat. <laughs> And you needed a ride from, um, from the Barry Islands, mm -hmm. um, specifically near Chubkey, to Nassau, so I can catch a flight uh, back home, which is to the Florida Keys. Of course, I'll fly into Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. Cool. So she spent the night with us and has a cab waiting uh, around 11, so we'll take her to shore and then she'll get to the airport. <laughs> and they have been gracious uh, hosts. Appreciate you guys very much. Thank you. Oh, yeah, thank you. It's our pleasure. <laughs> After dropping off our passenger, we stayed a few days and played a lot of beach fetch, and we also made a small hike to a tiki bar to enjoy rum punch and jerk chicken. It kind of felt like we were in Jamaica. Ready to go do some laundry? We hung around the marina for a couple of days doing laundry, taking lots of long hot showers, and we did a little bit of grocery shopping as well.
morning we are taking the courtesy car to go get groceries and it's gonna be interesting because the steering wheel is on the right side of the car. I hope I don't mess this up. <laughs> What's the motto? Left side. Left side. Left side of the road. Left side of the parking lot lanes. Today was the day that we were finally going to make it to the Exumas. That's really our, our ultimate destination for this trip. But we ran into another snag when we were leaving the marina. Um, we had sparks going on in our engine room. So it turns out that a cable disconnected from our alternator. Am I saying that right? Yeah. Yeah. And it was just a live hot wire sparking. We could smell something. That's why we checked down in the engine room. So we veered over to Rose Island, uh, just right outside of Nassau on New Providence Island. That thing was just sparking and sparking. So glad we didn't have a fire. So that's the bad news. The good news is that this anchorage we found is beautiful. So apparently there's good snorkeling. That's a boat full of snorkelers. Um, there's a bunch of people in the water over there. And there's more snorkeling going on over there. And just behind that boat, I found my own private island. It's the island I've been looking for. It's just full of sand and palm trees and that's it. So we will be going over there at some point. After anchoring, Jeremy got back in the engine room to attach the corroded cable back to the alternator. All right, fiasco of the day. Uh, this is supposed to be connected to that. It's not. No. Nope. I'd say it melted right through. Melted its little rubber housing thing as well. Alright, so I don't have a hydraulic press to put lugs on the end of cables. What I do have is this uh, manual tool which is used for putting ends on running or uh, on wire rigging. Um, this is absolutely not what it's made for, but we're going to try it and see. I might be able to get this thing fixed. So hopefully it crushes that onto this wire well enough. Alright, we're almost ready for the reveal. <laughs> it crushed it pretty good. I don't know if it did well enough. I've got a smaller one of these. If I need to use it, I will. I hope this works. Dang. Well, I'd say that's pretty crushed Hold on there. Still. Yep, looks crushed. Yeah. Cool, that's shrink wrap. And that prevents corrosion, you said? Yeah, it should waterproof our connection here. See it just shrinking right on there? Yeah, cool. I shrink wrap most of my connections. All right, so Bear got our alternator all hooked back up. No more sparks on the engine. And we decided to come out here and enjoy this beautiful beach. I guess it really wasn't such bad. Excuse you. I guess it uh, wasn't really all that bad that we had to veer over to Rose Beach instead of getting to the Exumas. We'll try again some other time, but um, for now we're going to enjoy the snorkeling and this beautiful, beautiful clear water. He's it. 
Good girl. In the next episode of Sailing Tejo, we spend about a week exploring Rose Island and decide whether or not to make the crossing to the Exumas. I, 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 I